How to sell digital products on Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will teach you how to sell digital products on Google Sites. Google Sites is a powerful platform that not only allows you to create stunning websites, but also provides the capability to sell digital products directly to your customer. So whether you're an artist, musician, writer, or any other creator, Google Sites can be your virtual storefront to showcase and sell your digital creations. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will walk you through the process of setting up an online store on Google Sites to, set, to sell your digital products. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to do is of course go to googlesites.com. If you don't know how to access googlesite.com, you can simply open a new tab, search for Google Site, and you will be able to see the first link over here and you're going to open this, just like that. And you will be able to access Google Sites easily. Now, as you can see here, this is what Google Sites looks like. In this section over here at the top, this is where you will be able to create your new website. You could either start with a blank or choose from the different templates available in Google Sites over here. As you can see, there isn't much different templates over here. There is only a limited amount of templates. Unlike different websites, unlike other websites, builder who that has a lot of different templates and themes. But we're not going to use any templates anyway, so we're going to go back. Now over here below, we can see that this is the recent sites. This is where you will be able to see all the different websites you have created before and recently. You will be able to edit your different websites by simply clicking on them once again or clicking on the three dots and you will be able to rename remove or open in a new tab over here. Now, how do we create a digital product? To be able to create a digital product, you could either use Canva or anything, any platform that you use to create digital designs. And after having your digital product, you could go to Google Sites right now and we're going to click on blank over here and we're going to start from fresh. Now, as you can see here, this is the website builder of Google Sites. And as you can see here on the right side, this is where you will be able to choose from the different elements available in Google Sites. This is where you can upload or add some text box, images, embed, drive, and all of these other options over here. You can choose any of this option to decorate and style your website. So for us, we're going to go and be straightforward. We're going to create our page. So for the first section over here, our home page, we're going to like set up a store. So this is our store store name we're going to put it over here and we could choose from the header type like cover large banner banner or title only for now we're going to settle with title only and we could add images to our section over here we could drag this over here we could select and we could choose from our gallery google link or google drive or google image or google photos over here depending on what you would like to get your images from we're going to add some background to our design over here for example we're going to go with this design over here. This is just a random design. Click on insert and we will be able to insert our image into our design over here. Now I'm going to put it over here on the top. I'm going to crop this. I'm going to make this bigger. And never mind, we're not going to do that anymore because it's messing up with our store. So we're just going to continue with this one over here. This is our store name. We're going to put it on the left side. Now you can enter your site name over here. We're going to have it as store. And just like that. And you could add like text box over here. Like a description about what your store is. Anything you would like to have. We're going to have description. And we're going to utilize cost content blocks over here. To display your different, uh, different products. So we're going to have this as our content block. As you can see. We could have our product 1, product 2, product 3 over here. We could add our title over here. Product one and we're going to do the same over here product two do the same on the third one product three and for the last one product four just like that and then we could fix this as our centered and just like that we have uh four different images over here we could our, add a photo for our image in this section we could select image we're going to choose a random image for now for example this product over here this is our first product you could also edit the design of this section, by the way, over here on the right side. On the left side, you could have like a darker background or like a green 
or blue or like a blue background or have a custom image over here where you can upload or select from your drive or search in the internet so this is our design for the meantime this is our home page for our store now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the text for the meantime now we're going to go to our pages over here over here in the pages this is where you will be able to create your designs or like add some pages to your website so we're going to add a page over here I'm going to do that and we're going to name it product click on done and now this is our product page over here we're going to do the same thing we're going to insert it in this section we're going to have this as our one of our product page and another one and another one over here the same concept this is like a may a bigger section for the products in the earlier version we only have that over here but in this version you could have like more description and more title over here so this will be our product one product one and we're going to upload the same image just like that and then we could adjust this and just like that this will be our photo for the meantime and after doing that we're going to click on pages over here click on the three dots and we're going to add like a sub page just like that and then we're going to name it product one this is the page solely for the product one and we're going to insert over here we're going to insert some images over here just like that and we're going to adjust the photo over here just like that and this is where you're going to upload the photo or more photos of your design as you can see here and we're going to add some text over here like the title product one we're going to highlight this and change this to heading just like that and you could add like description of your product over here now how will people buy your product so we're going to use another platform called stripe stripe would allow you to generate and create payment websites over here as you can see you could use stripe to create your own buy button so over here right now i am stripe and we're going to go to payment links and we're simply going to click on plus new and we're going to choose it over here we're going to choose it over here uh products or subscription we're going to choose that and for the product we're going to have digital product whatever name of your digital product is you can type it over here and we have our description our image over here and our price for example let's say our price is 1000 and we're going to click on add product just like that and now we have a product over here we could add our image later on if you would like to edit the product let's upload our image over here just like that and we're going to click on save and as you can see we have our product over here and then you could choose from the different option enable some sort of stuff do other options over here but after that we're going to click on create link and now we have our link over here now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the buy button and we're going to copy this code over here we either choose from a card or a button over here we could go with card for now click on copy code and we're going to go here and we're going to add an embedded section over here going to paste our code uh we're going to go here paste our code click on next and as you can see we're going to wait for it click on insert and now as you can see we have a buy button in this section now when someone clicks this they will be redirected to a payment link over here like your website this section over here and this is where they will be able to pay you for your product so we're going to check it out we're going to publish this go with product testing and click on publish so we're going to check it out if it works click on view and over here we have our product one we're going to go to our home page uh it's not working properly so we're going to stay here for now and as you can see this is our product one we have our images over here description and heading so when we click this we will be redirected to stripe and we're going to see as you can see this is the payment section now you will be able to enter your email your email payment method card information stuff like that and then they will be able to pay you through this section over here and you could also set it up over here wherein once they pay they will be able to receive the download information for the digital product and that's it guys that's how you can use google sites as a digital store hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching